Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with some more Mortal Shell. Last time we uh, turned in that uh, Stone of Tar that we had to the Crow guy, so we got a upgrade to our seal. Now we're in the crypt, and I'm assuming we're going to go for our another, another one that we're going to need, but I think we're going to fight for this large blade and pick up some welt cap while we're here. So yeah, let's see what we gotta fight here. I wonder why the page turns into a spider though. It's like so weird. So like out of the way. But let's go smack some, uh, what's his name? It's like Harden or something like that. Or Hadrian or something? What is he? Let's see. Hadrian. Yeah, there we go. Alright, what are we rolling with here? Oh, missed. Nope. Back up. I'm trying to be greedy here. So he's got a slow swing. Super slow swing at that. Can you not block it, to be honest? Is it like a heavy attack? Yeah, I think it's a heavy attack regardless. Got him, though. <laughs> Smacked him. Yeah, how do you like that, Perry, huh? Alright, let's back up. We're doing pretty good on his health, to be honest. Oh, missed. That was a fast, uh, heavy attack, though. It's not bad, but we're not going to be rolling with it. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, no doubt about it. Oh, nope. We actually stunned him there. The only good thing for him is he's got range on us here is a giant sword oh everyone trading blows here that should get out of the deep water oh get out of there <laughs> getting too greedy let's wait for him here and we killed him. Probably need some health. Well, actually, we'll just uh, regenerate through uh, the woman. And we'll get his giant sword now. Wow, he's kind of badass there. He just, he didn't even fall down. He just, like, used his blade uh, to hold him up while he sunk into the water. But anyways, what weapon do we have here? All right, what is that? That is the Martyr's Blade. A two-handed sword, achingly coated to grasp. Give me back the hollow sword, though. <laughs> We're not messing around here. Uh, there's no upgrades here, so we don't have to worry about that. Let us talk to her and get our health all the way back up. Sip this and you. Yeah, give me that Divine Tar. All right, let's actually see if we have any Divine Tar. We do. We'll take it. Not really anything good, though. Glimpse of courage. Sure. Ten there. Tainted nectar we don't want to touch. It's not good. I think we're good. Let's see if we can upgrade, actually. What do we need for it? We need 20 glimpses. So we just need three more glimpses, and then we'll be good. Unfortunately, we don't really have anything to give us glimpses, so hopefully we can get 20 while we're rolling in here. And, of course, it's one of y'all guys again, huh? Ooh, two of y'all. You know, it's not terrible. Because we were fighting these guys. We were practicing on them earlier, except I got stuck. Got stuck on that rock, actually. Oh, they're just gonna... They're gonna trade blows. 
can't hit this guy to save my life. All right, we got him there. We just need this one. Alrighty, now what do we have in the casket? Spectral token. Getting struck while hardened will boost the damage output. Okay, not bad. In fact, we might want to put that on our thing here. Where is that one? Quick slot. Uh, the loot's already been fully maxed out. We might as well put it there. Loot ain't gonna help us out. The sheer audacity incites enemies to viol violence from a great distance. Oh, so this might draw enemies towards you. Interesting. Uh, what are you? Nope, don't give him the chance. <laughs> I'm gonna say, don't even give him the chance to attack. He's got a dual wielding. So he's probably faster than us. But we did kill him. Yeah, he's dual wielding short swords. Glimpse of futility. We're slowly working on our glimpses here. We gotta be careful about enemies being like on the the corners here. There's one there. Yep, this is what I was worried about. Ooh, he actually has a ranged attack. Get out of there. Let's kill these guys. Alright, he's gonna show up. Or he's coming. I can hear him. His slow footsteps. I don't want to turn and him be there. Alrighty. We're going to do a jumping attack here pretty soon. There we go. And he's dead. I don't know why, but that sounds like a... Like an aura or a barrier. Like in magic games. <laughs> I'm just like hearing that nonstop. Okay, so there's a little for, uh, shortcut there. Or there's some room. It might be good for us to kind of investigate it here. We can always come back through. Alrighty, this is a weird camera angle. Might get attacked by ghost here. Pick up petrified winter glass. The shard of winter glass fits inside of the martyr's blade. Oh, the large blade that we just got. Eh, I thought it was going to be something, you know, important. I'll say we're rolling with a high damage weapon now. There's a few guys there. Okay, hold on. Let me see here. Just two of these guys. We can actually put these guys out. No, hold on. There's, there's a troublemaker over here. You gonna show up or I don't want to fight you. He's gonna slowly come for us, so I'm just weird that he he must have been standing like right there where that item's at. So he's gonna be over here. Yeah. We'll wait for him. I wanna say safety first. Quit trying to throw your swords at me. Yep. Get away from him. We should kill him here pretty soon. Oh, except I missed. Alright, now we can come over here and kill this guy who's chilling right here. Alrighty. We'll get whatever this is. A large bolt. Ooh, guy showed up. There's no point of hardening there, but I got scared. Alright, so one, still two. Oh, there's a big item. There's a big enemy down here. He's yelling, making sure we know he's here. Nope, get out of there. Uh, what is he doing? He threw his head. And then he died. But he caused poison. Ooh, there's a troublemaker there. Okay, we can definitely kill him. Oh, wow, he's actually a different enemy. Okay, he's some weird crab guy. 
Let's avoid that. Oh, we did kill him. All right, what did you have? What were you protecting here? Quenching acid. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's more damage for our hollow sword. Okay, is that going to bring us down? Well, let's find out. See where this is leading us here. Deeper into the pit. Let's see what those two monsters we're guarding over here. See if that leads down there as well. Kind of interested in that. We'll wait for our stamina to get back up, though. Let's smack him a little bit. <laughs> I'll say make sure we... Nope, get out of there. Get our stamina. Ooh, almost fell off the ladder. Or the stairs there. More tainted nectar. We're never going to touch that stuff again. The only thing I can see is maybe if we get our familiarity up, that maybe it won't kick us out of the uh, shell. But I don't want to waste it out when we're rolling with 78 damage here. Did that regenerate? Oh, it sure did. Yeah, pick up that wall cap. Alright, let us increase the damage. Oh yeah, weapon damage increased. I'm rolling like a big boy. So we got our heavy armor, we got a decent sword. The damage is probably off the charts now. Let's see what was down here. Okay, that's probably a pit of death right there. Because I'm thinking that this connects to the area we just cleared out. And it does. Good to know, there's another one of these bastards. It looks like they're, like, sleeping. Let's get out of there. Oh, ran right into his attack. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Had to make a small cut. So, uh, I definitely hear something intimidating. Oh, right there. I see there's something bigger there. We got some walt cap, at least. We're rolling with, like, seven health, which isn't terrible. Um, I feel like we should go this way. <laughs> Get all the goods first. Rotten food, not great. And scripture of defiance. Next parry refunds resolve. Alright, well, let's go piss him off. Enshrine Sanctum. Enslaved Grisha. Oh. Uh. Stay away from him. Uh, he's dangerous. He has the same attacks, though, as a regular Grisha, though. Oh, I have no stamina. Yeah, we gotta get away from him. Oh, yep, far, far away. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, ice fell down. Okay, wasn't expecting that. I'm kind of worried about that. Oh, we take damage from them as well. Uh, I don't know where the ice is falling, though. Maybe where there's ice? Let's get some damage in on him. Nope. Don't mind me. Oh, I got smacked there. Let's actually eat some mushroom here. Let's actually try to eat two of them. Nope, just one. Alright, we should be good. And smack him. <laughs> yep, get away. We got him halfway at least. He's definitely a lot more aggressive than the normal Grisha. Ugh. Oh, get out of there. Somehow we didn't get hit there. Yep, block it. Smack him again. Might be able to kill him. Oh, he got lucky. He got lucky because of that ice. Got him. We can think our 80 attack putting him down. Another glimpse there, and we can actually upgrade if we need to. Which is good. Let's try to avoid the ice here. I was like, man, what is this uh, light blue things falling from the sky? Figure that one out. Alright, so there's nothing there. 
Looks like it's going to lead us to like an ice area. I doubt he's going to regenerate or like respawn here once we rest. So we don't have to worry about that. Unknown effigy, the likeliness of an acolyte bowed in prayer. That right there, listening or reading that kind of makes me feel like whatever uh, shell that is tends to be more lightly armored. So probably a shell that would probably get us killed <laughs> more than likely. We got everything, so let's keep on moving here. Oh, and we can uh, get a little saving point here. Let's see what we got here. Golden belt and another solemn offering. A ring once a year to celebrate the revered. Kind of want to hit that golden bell. Is this a fast travel point? Probably. All right, hold on. Let's see what we got here. Uh, we really need to use it to figure out what it does. Ringing the bell grants increased resolve gain for three minutes. All right, not terrible. You killed the Grisha. Many died dragging that beast down here. He served as a slave, a guardian, that they would worship unfettered, enshrined in ice. Can you blame them? The perversity of living has always been its ever-changing nature. So, then, would you like another sip? Alrighty. Let's get that upgrade. Let's fully upgrade this big boy. Okay, upon reclaiming Iridrium, your next attack will do massive damage, sometimes exploding your enemies into a bloody mess. So if we do die, our next attack should be pretty good. The infirm must be removed from our ranks. The poison of descent and the frailty of flesh cannot be permitted within our sanctuary. This is a small price for unity, but I'm certain they will go willingly to their deaths. If not, I shall aid them. All right, that can be pretty bad, and we fully upgraded him. So now he's rolling. Perhaps it's time to make some new memories. Uh, is she telling me to like maybe try a different body? Hell no, we like this body. <laughs> we will die in anything else other than this, but we might try to roll with a different one. It's just if we pick a stamina build, we have to be a lot more dodgy. And there's a big boy right there waiting for us. Let's see what's hidden over here. Ooh. You, huh? Let's let him attack us. Nope, he's gonna spit out his poison. Yeah, we're just gonna let that happen. Glimpse of wisdom and in a mortal token. Examine inscription. The first vision came upon me like a waking dream. Thrust into a vast chamber, I beheld a maiden crowned with winter glass. Her hand fell upon my throat and I shivered. Trembling, I returned to the present, but her grasp remained an icy collar upon my neck, linking us forevermore. Kinda sucks, not gonna lie. Alright, well, we're definitely gonna wanna use the mortal token here. Because we're going to get that familiarity maxed up. And it should tell me the new stuff here. More health is granted to those familiar with the token's intricacies. So we get a little bit more health when he smacks us while hardened. Uh, nope. And apparently there's traps too. Wasn't expecting so many of them here. Yep, he's beheading himself. Poison. Did you... Nope, he didn't damage the other guy. This guy we're actually gonna put down. Yeah, don't even give him the chance to put poison everywhere. Man, who's making all that noise? Oh, there must be one down here. Bones of futility. Yeah, let's smack this big in. He's got a nice looking shield on him too. And he blocks. 
yeah, like, we <laughs> can't really do much. We gotta wait for him to open up for us. Realistically. Or, uh, parry him. Which isn't really working for us here. Nope. <laughs> that was, uh, unguardable. I'm kind of stuck here on the stairs. Don't mind me. I need to get up. Got him. Perfect. Yeah, so they're going to be a little bit nasty to fight, it seems. Just because we can't break their shield. Or we need like a heavier weapon to do it. And I don't really feel comfortable rolling with the heavier weapon. Yeah, there's two of you, huh? I missed completely. Yep, block that. Nope, he's gonna throw that head. Poison me. Because I uh, lost all my stamina. There we go. Got him. Alright, let's actually take a mushroom here. Get a little bit of our health going in the right direction. And that poison is nasty. Like, they do not mess around with that. Alright, there's another... Guy there with the shield. Let's go see what's going on over here. Oh, uh, y'all, huh? Oh, we traded. Nope, we gotta get out of here. My stamina is, like, terrible. Nope. Dodge it. Yeah, we do not want that poison. Alright, and there's another one there. Alright, let's kill this guy. It seems like it wants us to go further down into the depths. So there might be something of value here. Yeah, there's a chest. Yeah, we want to draw these guys in. And kind of run away. So they don't throw anything at us. In fact, we can probably... Get out of there. Yep, yep. Let them go crazy. Oh. That sucked. Yep, he's going with that throw. Let him kill himself. He should go for an attack. I'm surprised he didn't try to pick up his head. They usually do that when their health gets low. We need some parries, but I don't feel comfortable parrying these guys just yet. Of course, then again, it's just him. Oh. I missed, and then I got smacked. Nope, missed. Got him. Does he have the... He does not have the giant uh, thing. Oh. We're just like trading blows here. And smack him. <laughs> he's like so low. Alright, he's dead. It's probably an upgrade for that uh, sword we just got. Radiant Winter Glass. Yeah. For the... Marcher's Blade. We're low on health. To the point where, you know what, we're going to have to eat some mushrooms here. We'll eat two of them. And we'll hold off on two more. And we'll just roll with that. And that should actually help us out here. Let's make sure there's no one other than him here. Oh. I did not want to fall there. Got one. Got another one. Avoided the damage. <laughs> perfect. That was a perfect jump off the stairs. Just right on top of his head. No way you're blocking that. But yeah, you can definitely hear someone breathing out here. Oh, it's another one of these guys. There's a guy sneaking right here. Yep, usually they don't slow down. Alright, he's dead. I want to wait for a Harden to come back because this guy might attack us here. Especially when I miss like that. Oh, shouldn't even have wasted it there. 
Go for that jump. Alright, we just need one more. Ooh, I missed. Ooh, we're just trading here. Got a little worried there when he was doing that spinning attack. Uh, glimpse of affection. So we're rolling with the glimpses now. Right, there's another one of these guys. Alright, he's dead. Another one here. Like, as long as we take our time, we don't try to, like, get everyone after us, we should be fine. There's Troublemaker there. Ooh, and he got up. He got up relatively early on us here. Is there another one? Someone's pissed off somewhere. Like, it sounds like there's two people. Alright, he's going for a major attack. Nothing too crazy. I guess he just, like, throws his blade straight into the ground. Alright, do we want to go up or down? Down, I think, is progression. Up might be a shortcut. If that's the case, then we definitely want to go up. No, you don't. No throwing blades. <laughs> oh, what's over here? Another one of these guys sleeping. get some damage in on him get out of there Ooh, got lucky trying to make sure there's no one behind us here got him almost had me too all right he's dead i would assume there's something here and it's the guy with the big old shield over here might as well piss him off I mean, we might as well keep on going for that head attack. If he's not going to block it, we might as well use it. Uh, another specter. Let's put him down. I don't think he'll shoot out fire, but he definitely put out some smoke or some, or some ice. Got him. <laughs> he's looking the other way. Tar spore. Man, I feel like we're just going in this big old circle. Let's move more this way. This guy here, like, blended into the ice. Gotta let my stamina get back. We're almost with, like, a nine, a hundred, uh, extra damage. There's a little hidden path right here. Wouldn't notice it. Uh, you, huh? Is there a guy coming from up above? Let's get him here. Ah. Yeah, it's just better if we do like a jumping attack here. There we go. Let's get whatever's in here. Probably another winter grass. No. Mortal token and a spectral token and effigy of Iridium. Who we're playing as at the moment. There should be a guy up here, I think. I can hear him moving. Yeah, just don't fall off the uh, stairs. Alright, we kind of messed him up there. Oh, he got lucky. And another glimpse. Alright, is this a shortcut? Uh, maybe not. Let's pick up that. Scripture of Ardor. A barely legible prayer dotted with stains. Shortcut, shortcut. I'm here for a shortcut. At least we got some tar. Like, that's literally all I've been, like, looking for. And this was a shortcut. Kinda. I don't even know if you, like, call it a shortcut. Because we've been going around this big old circle. But we will heal up. Ah, uh, should we? Maybe not. Maybe we keep on exploring. Because this isn't really a shortcut. This is like a... Big old circle around the whole area. 
Well, no, actually, that's where we came in from. Maybe this is the correct way by me coming back up, but really, we're supposed to, I guess, stay going down? Yeah, I guess so. Or we we'll keep on moving. I think we're fine right now. If there's like a boss battle and there's no closer. If the girl's like anywhere near, then we'll just go with that. Let's go down here. And uh, hopefully we don't get attacked here. Oh, actually, we've already been up in here. We actually went around. And we could have just went straight and attacked that guy. But if you go around, you get to attack him from behind. All right, so never mind. We aren't that far away from where we originated from. Oh, but we are running at 18 minutes here. All right, well, let's pick up this. This one might be a little bit longer as well. Glimpses into your shell when consumed. Let's attack him. Hit him from behind. Oh, yep. I thought I heard someone here. Killed both of them quickly, though, and we do have a hundred there as a damage uh, modifier. And where does this take us, I wonder? Okay, so another specter here. Another upgrade, probably, for that blade. Oh, yep, froze me. And did a good amount of damage. Put him down. Yeah, definitely. These guys can be kill you easily. Nope. Attack. Yeah, that ice damage is crazy. Like, that literally almost killed us. Quenching acid, though. We're going to throw that on our hollow sword. There's another one. Once we get on them, we want to, like, run and attack. Yeah, don't even give him a chance. Another scripture of our door. Another shortcut. Okay. Let's see here. I'm a little worried. I don't want to lose our hundred. Now, have we been here is the question. Yes, we have. We killed that big guy there. And we took that one. So now we need to go down. Really, if we take a lot of damage here, we want to go back. Oh, it's you. Another big one. Back up. Oof. <laughs> that got close. He's going to go for a downward spiral. Yeah, give me that glimpse and die, you big bastard. Alright, never mind. We're good. Keep on moving. And it looks like we can only raise it up to 100. It can't go anywhere higher than that. So we're doing as much damage as we possibly can. Let's make sure there's no one hit in there. Yep, he's coming. Back up. Oh yeah, you're dead. No problem. Let's get this chest. But maybe. Make sure no one's attacking us. Cause there's a chance the a spirit could like jump up and attack us here. And keep on moving. I am playing a little bit risky. Our health is a little bit on the low end. Okay, we're close to an altar. Oh, there we go. Perfect. We found the girl so we can heal back up. And there's a little boss battle in there. More than likely. Feel them. The enshrined wait, watching the Immaculate for thousands of years. They will not stir until the Ascension. They wait for her to deliver them. Here, drink fully. Warm your bones. Oh yeah, we're just here for the health. Oh. We can buy things from her. Well, to be honest, if I was going to buy anything, it'd be these. Oh, do you have unlimited uses? What is that? Oh, 
Well, I mean, we can get it. Hold on. 30 glimpses. Can we get 30 glimpses here? I kind of want to know what it does. Let's see what we can start working on. Problem is that she doesn't really heal us here. Nope. We only got the 20. That's unfortunate. Well then, if we can't, then we might as well just wait. I really want to get that unlimited use and see. It might not be even worth it. Make some new. Oh, but we do heal regardless. So anyways, we're going to stop there today. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links below. And I shall see you again in the next one. Hold up before we do. There's some stuff here hidden that I missed. Well then, hold on. We might be able to uh, afford this. If I keep on getting more glimpses. Oh no, they're not that much. But we do have the familiarity. Those familiar can glimpse more. So we get more glimpses from that one. But yeah, anyways, see y'all in the next one.